Well, guys, it's your Singing and Venom, and this is the Magna Source. I guess how you say it. that's how you say his name. Yeah, Magna Source. And this is not a Gundam model kit. This is more. I don't know, like. It kind of reminds me of Power Rangers, honestly, by the transformation and the anime of this. No, I do have the Ghost Source as well. I am missing the other one. The Jet and Triceratops one, which I will begin to do a review with these guys. That way, we have all three of them, and then do go from there. So, my first opinion about this kit is it's the thighs, the robot legs, they're way too freaking big for him. But he can't stand up by himself, you have to use his tail to prop him up, which I really don't like. I am not to have him in the dino mode, I will have him in robot mode after this, because he just sits so freaking goofy, but let's get down to articulation, so here we go. So first of all, the tail really doesn't stay on that well, unless you have the legs up. When I know the instructions were saying have the legs back, but it won't stay connected. I mean, he has to use the tail to keep himself up because if you have it straight, he's gonna fall back, which is because of these the robot feet in transformation. But let's remove the tail real quick. So it is on. A joint right here. Get up and down movement. Same with the tail, but you do fall down, but that's for in the other form. You do get stickers right here. I didn't care about putting the stickers in there. I may remove them and just paint them later. Uh, as you can tell, it sells two giant cannons and a gun, or two giant cannons and a sword with a base adapter for the tail, or, yeah. And now here's the actual kit. So in dino mode, you really don't get that much because the arms and the skirt do block. If you can angle it right, you can probably get a three, full 360 turn, like that. Uh, leg, or knee joint, you gotta bend that far back, that far forward. For some reason, the feet on dino mode love to pop off on mine. It, that is on a ball joint, so you get a full bend there for going in robot mode, a full spin. As it tries to pop off. See, it pops off. It doesn't like me. Same thing with this side. <laughs> I just think I need to add a little super glue. Call it good. So, same articulation. Um, the robot feet do go up and down. But that's mainly for robot mode. Uh, his head that part down but transformation jaw does open so he can talk he can look down that far you can't turn it because it's on a hinge so uh waist you can almost get a full spin if you can do it right without him pulling apart just like so part of the time the back skirts fall off. Uh, arms, they don't turn. They are on a double hinge. So you get about that far of movement, that far back. 
Uh, other than that, there's not real much anything else for Dino Mode. So let's get down to transformation. So first, we'll remove the heat. Well, the Dino Legs. Drop the skirts down. Mine keep on love popping out for some reason, which is irritating. So that goes there, that goes there. That stays like that. Head comes down. Arms pulled in right here. And I do find that quite snug to get the arms out, but I don't care. I'm going to be leaving him in robot mode. And again, side skirt loves popping out. To fill that up, you do get this lovely little base holder for everything else, like robot arms. Um, no, these are just the... They only come with one handset, which doesn't bother me, but it's more or less these hands are kind of not the best because they're all just plug-in peg. I may go in with a little super glue to keep them from popping out because... I'm having problems with that, but I do love the color coordination for this kit. The only other thing that moves on this kit when in dino mode is the chest plate armor side B pins. That noggin. No, you want to have like. <sighs> Something with tape on it because if you lose that piece, it will be a pain to find it. I lost the one for Ghost Horse yesterday, and it took me almost an hour to find it because how tiny it is. And then this little piece right here that I'm pulling out goes into where the tele adapter is for Dino Mode. And again, I want to note, this kind of reminds me of Power Rangers, but... <sighs> like, I love the fact it's a mall kit, it can transform. I love those kind of mall kits. I do have a difficult time getting this piece in sometimes, but there you go. Just a good little play, but it went backwards. Uh oh. Where'd it go? Oh, right here in front of me. Hmm. I don't know why this piece doesn't like going in for me, but it just doesn't want to go in. I may have it going in backwards. Uh. Be right back. Okay, I am back. Um, note this piece is extremely loose, so you won't be careful. I barely just, yeah, low touch and it pops out, which is kind of irritating, which I will have to take care of that. The head just pops on like so. Um, let's do the legs. So. Easy, simple transformation. Just like so. Ah. That is correct. Turn around. Pull it up. Pop it like so. Same thing on the other side. Pull it up. Bring it out, find it down. There you go. Now, the cool thing is with this, take this off, and it's supposed to attach right where that gold piece is. This little doohickey on you at the fence to the head. Um. 
So this little doohickey, gotta separate. And note, these two are hold together. Ah, that's actually stuck. With the sword with those pegs, they go into just like so. So, anyways, this little doohickey, if I can get the arm out, which I do have problems with the arm a lot. That shoulder piece does love to get a stick down in there. There we go. Does attach. Oh, wait. There we go. Goes that way. Gets attached like so. And I think I put it on wrong. I don't remember. Oh, I did put it on wrong. So wait, how are you supposed to go on if not that way? I thought it was that way. Or is it this way? Well, either way, these cannons are supposed to be attached to so. And they go on the back of Ghost Saurus for a combination, which I really hate. It's just the cannons. I wish more of him went on to go source. But from what I know from the third one, they all combine and there's no pieces left over except for like the swords and heads, so. But anyways, that comes out like so. Drop it down like that. That's correct, that's correct. Same post. Just like so. One arm in. One arm in. Hmm. One arm in. And one arm in. Take his sword. No, the sword is on a thin plastic, so be careful or you'll bend the crap out of it. I actually, I didn't bend it, but how it's placed in the box. It was bent. Take those off. Spin the head around. And I believe they just attach. They attach right into that little slot right there if I can get in. There we go. Like so. Now flip. Place and drop. Just like so. And then pick the legs in. One leg. Now I like this kit because it's more, I feel like it's more solid. There's no real poly caps to it and it has crotch panel gem thing. I may have to just super glue it down just or do some about the inside. And there he is. I mean, he is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Those get pushed back in. He is a fairly decent kit. I mean, he's not super big, not super small. That's all I love about him. To compare him with the Ghost Horus, uh, here is Mac Batera. I guess that's how you say his name. Mac Batera. Mac. Yeah, Mac Batera. What the hell? It sounds like a rapper! <laughs> that was Mac Batera. Landstego, which I really love Landstego, he's just so tiny and cute. And then Thunder Brack, which my main complaint is there's not a tail for him, but he has cute little stubby feet, <coughs> which we'll go over this kit later on. Like, another video later on. Oh, but here is 
Magnosaurus, or, yeah, because when he's in dino mode, he's mag, yeah, dino mode is mag, mag, magna, tyranno, and then, uh, but you do get to, like I said, take the can, his arms and, Super source jet, which I don't like the fact, but that's what it looks like right there. Buster cannon. And from the anime, they're just little school kids that pilot these guys. I mean, there's the character form. And if you can read it like I can, there you go. And that is the full team to these Dinobots. To actually open up the extraction so that you guys know what you're getting into. You really don't get that many uh, runners. This one comes with its own base stand, which I really do like. Uh, note, the only stickers I did put on were the chest the shoulders and then the legs are right here. Uh, size comparison time. Yay! Bring this down just a bit more. That way we can get a size comparison. So you've seen it with the other Dinobot things, Gosaurus, Power Ranger Transformer. Uh, let's bring in Musha. So, he is a high grade kit, by the way, so he's not going to stand that tall, but he stands probably to Musha's shoulder, from what it looks like, ish, or a little bit smaller. Huh. No, you're not getting off your stand, you stay there. Ah. Uh. Let's bring in Berserker Fury. Because she's just sitting on my desk. She's constantly in the corner of my desk. Yeah, um... <clears throat> Height-wise... Garby, but length-wise, she's still a massive dino. <laughs> Everything goes this way. You didn't see this one. Yeah, nor that as I knock him over. That you don't need to worry about. Uh, next to my vape. Comes my vape. Uh, that you still don't see. Don't worry about that. Kishatare. <laughs> You're still heavy. No, the Gundams are on my desk or my favorite ones besides Berserker Fury and like two on my shelf. So, high grade, high grade. He's high grade tallness, stature. But all in all, this kit. It's pretty good. I'm not the lie. I love it. Um, articulation wise, and that piece fell out again. I'll just super glue it in there. I swear I will. Uh, articulation wise, if you move the skirt up, you can get a full, almost a full bend that way. A somewhat full bend back if. That foot was on. Uh, rotate the arm up. Yeah, full bend that way. Uh, the foot, if you can see it, is on a ratchet and a small ball joint. So, foot can go up, foot can go down. Can't go side to side because of panels. Arm articulation. Full 360. Uh... 
the cannons you can't really move out of the way you can get that much of a bend you can get a pull elbow bend I believe from what I remember yep so you can have just sword on shoulder the hands are on a board joint so you get a full 360 the guns they're on I believe a ball joint yeah like so uh, what else oh yeah the head is on a ball joint and the neck connector is on a joint so it does have that back and forth movement so he can go squirrel he can look down he can do squirrel his head can do a 360 spin ah, those feet <laughs> but on all this kit is solid um there was rule no polycaps used in him So that is something I am happy about about this kit. It's just kind of disappointed in the size. I thought these were gonna be bigger, but all in all, this kit is really amazing. Um, color scheme, I love it. The possibility on them is, with him, is really good because he's pretty solid. Just one thing that kind of gurs me is, like I said, dino legs and then the, well, crotch replacement panel for when he's on dino mode. In a way, when I see him with that cannon, I think of Transformers Megatron. Uh, da, 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 giant cannon near the arm. Yeah. I watched... I can't really find somewhere I can watch the full episodes. But from what I gathered on YouTube... And from what I've read online, they're kind of like Power Rangers in middle school or junior high, one of the two. And they have Dinobots or Dinozords or whatever you want to call them. And I know this is a single pilot. Then you got the three pilot and I believe the other one. Is a two pilot, so you got a team of six. So, kind of like Power Rangers, I guess. <laughs> I just think it's a. I'm not dissing on Power Rangers, I'm not dissing on this, but I think this is a cheesy knockoff of Power Rangers and Transformers. Well, no, because. Yeah. I know what I just said because I forgot. The Power Rangers come together and make a mega sword, but there are some that have that single transformation, like him. I'm rethinking back to Power Rangers and time, to where the Red Tyranno was its own thing, like this dude. But all in all, this is a kit that's gonna be on my desk. He's actually to come back here and just sit right there with Musha and Nu and be all amazing. So this is Rob Sling and Venom signing off for now. This is the Magnosaurus. Stay tuned for the next Gosaurus bot video when we see Thunderbrack, Lansego, and Mecha Patera <laughs> become Gosaurus and give him Mega Cannons just for a little bit, but I'm going to leave him as he is, even though I do want to see what he looks like with two giant cannons on his back. So, and remember to hit that like 
that subscribe and the bell icon stay continued with more mall kit videos.